Yeah. We're living in the midst. Uh, we need everybody's support. We need things like this yeah. to happen Early. so people know that oh, we, we are tired. Over? We are tired of being abused. Yeah. 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 Uh, we have a couple of speakers here who also share their commitment to us and support. And the first one up uh, is our Alderman Sue Garza. All right. All right. All right. Susan has taken up the fight for our basic human rights. Her win for Alderman proved that we wanted something not just better, but different. She has participated at a meeting uh, this past May of Vets Park where over 200 people were there because of the putrid smell that this company, and you can smell, can you get that smell? Yes. 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 That face, that face, that's nothing like what it can be. Okay, so uh, Susan, we thank you for your commitment and let's welcome the Alderman to the stage. All right. Brothers and sisters, I love the sight of organized people getting out to fight for what's right. I want you to know that it's very important that we get out here and, boy, and show our voice show our concern, and let these people that are polluting our neighborhood, let them know that we don't want them to pollute our neighborhood. We need to let them know that we deserve better. We deserve better. And I love the lady sign that says, this wouldn't happen in Lincoln Park. Yeah. That says it in a nutshell. Why does, why does this ward always get landfills and industry and dirty, rotten pollution? We deserve better. We deserve better. Keep up the hard work. You have, we have already won the fight of getting the North Terminal closed at the Peck Coke facility. Yeah. Yeah, that is a win. That is a win. And it's because of your hard work. It's because of our hard work together that got that done. Don't stop fighting. My election, our election, was a testament that people can beat big money. Yeah. Yeah. People yeah. can beat yeah. big money. So don't ever underestimate that a group of concerned citizens can change the world. Because indeed, it's the only thing that ever does. Thank you. And I'm not being that 
our children's health and our health and our seniors' health bad. Ramona Setner, she's a nurse, and she's here to talk about all of the pollution, how it impacts our communities, and what it means to our health. Ramona. My name is Ramona Setnar and I'm a lifelong resident of this community. Put the mic up. Hi, clear your mouth. You know, I could speak without it and you could still hear it. True. I'm a retired nurse from the University of Chicago Hospitals and a proud member of National Nurses United. I am here today not only as a resident of my community who, like my neighbors, live with dirty pet and coke dust flying into and on onto our homes, devaluing our property values. But I am also here as a health care provider, and as such, I clearly understand the human toll living with these pollutants has on the residents of our community. We've heard about the health impact of inhaling pet coke particles and the chemicals we breathe in from agrifying. But I am here to tell you about the health toll it takes on our lungs, our heart, our circulatory and digestive system, and who knows how else we will be impacted. I am here to talk about the inhumanity and immorality of polluters in our midst. There is nothing humane about a young child, too young to understand, gasping for air while suffering an asthma attack. There is nothing humane about adult experiencing the complications related to COPD, which is further exasper exacerbated by breathing in pet coke particles. I may not be able to quote you statistics today, but I can tell you from firsthand experience as a registered nurse, the pain and fear etched on the faces of parents as they want their child struggling simply to breathe. I can talk to you about the anxiety of spouses and children as their parents' hearts struggle to simply pump blood but cannot because their heart has been harmed by dirty pet coat particulates or the chemicals from Aberfine. I can talk to you about comforting families as they hear the dreaded diagnosis of cancer. We all know and feel the health impact of living in our communities, but I am standing here today because I know we have a community where our children can play outside and as parents, we don't have to be ready with their inhalers. I am here today because I know we can live in a community where the chemicals and the horrible smells from agrifying don't have to keep us indoors. I am here today with all of you because our lives are worth fighting for. Yeah. I bring this message for my from my fellow nurses from across the city and the country. We will do all that we can to continue sounding the alarm, to continue fighting alongside each of you to bring an end to the occupation of polluters in our community. Like you, I don't think the Koch brothers should be able to make a single cent at the expense of our health. Yeah. And I said they should use a single cent to marginalize us, dehumanize us, destroy our health, our homes, our neighborhoods. We demand dirty polluters out of our community. Yeah. Thank you very much. de las personas y eso creo que lo predicó Jesús y eso es algo de un principio del que no nos debemos olvidar gracias there is no government and no law that should put uh, the people's uh, lives in danger and that's something that Jesus Christ has said and that's something that I believe that we need to do make sure that we uh, support people's rights not And not the rights of the companies.
Okay, we're now we're going to be heading over to KCBX. It's getting dark, so we're going to try and get there as fast as possible. As you all know, if you live here, you know that KCBX used to have huge piles of coal and pet coke at the site we're headed to. Those piles are somewhat gone, and they're supposed to be gone totally. We're looking forward to that day, and then we'll see what else has to be done, okay? So, Olga Bautista, who is the leader of Band Pet Coke, would like to say a few words. There are flyers going out right now for a follow-up meeting that we're having on November 11th at 6.30 at the Southeast Environmental Task Force. So folks can continue to uh, join this group and make sure that we grow, that this uh, march is not for nothing. We are interested in coming to your communities, to your churches, to your schools, to talk about these problems. And November 11th is a Wednesday. It's at 6.30 in the evening. Also, if you, if you don't have to, if you can't make that, you can also call the number or stop in at the office anytime. There's also flyers going around right now uh, for PetCokeAlerts.org. So you can sign up to that right now. And I'm going to ask everybody to pull out your cell phones if you have a smartphone. And you can Google PetCokeAlerts.org. PetCoke, P E T. C-O-K-E-A-L-E-R-T-S dot org. And you can get a message text to you when the winds are over 15 miles an hour, which is what the city of Chicago has said is deemed dangerous for folks, especially if you have uh, asthma, a heart condition, you should be able to protect yourself. And that's a service that we have worked really hard to get out to the community. It's also open source. So we can um, share that with other communities. And I, I want to acknowledge some groups that are here right now. We have the Teachers for Social Justice. We have Ashley Williams, who is here with the group from Ottawa, Illinois, who has been fighting silica sand mining. And she's here in solidarity with us. Dr. Laura Chamberlain uh, also with us, and she has been fighting um, to end fracking in Illinois and has had a tremendous accomplishments uh, here in Illinois from her hard work. So everybody, please welcome yeah. us. We also have uh, organizers from the Fight for 15 who are also under attack by the Koch brothers. Coke brothers are trying to pass legislate are trying to stop legislation for a living wage. So uh, please applause to the Fight for 15 workers who are here in solidarity. All right. So we're gonna do a couple more chants here and let everybody know exactly what we feel and what we mean. And then we're gonna start our march to KCBX. Okay everybody. Yeah. 